I am so excited to be here with the one and only Isfra Lauren. She is an <laughs> entrepreneur, she is the founder of Salt Air, a model and a mom. Hey. We are going to dive into so many things today, but thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy to be here. We've got some good stuff for you coming up. Yes. So Isfra, I would love for you to tell a little bit more about your background, how you got started in modeling and how you are here now. Yes. So I started modeling at 13 when I entered L Girl Search for a Supermodel and I got scouted by an amazing agency but unfortunately after test shoots and catwalks it became apparent that my body type and shape was just not the sample size so they started measuring me um, they kind of gave me these very unhealthy ways to try and lose weight um, and it was really tricky and at one point they basically just dropped me and then gave me a list of 11 other agencies to go and I don't know why I had this like unreal confidence at that age, but I went to every single one, they all rejected me, and I just like kept on going. <laughs> and so I unfortunately took it out on myself, right? I had a negative relationship with my body because I was literally told that I was not enough. So um, I, I had an eating disorder, I had body dysmorphia, I'd look at my body, which was, you know, at this point, probably a US four, and think that I was, fat and overweight and disgusting and I use these very negative terms to view myself because that's how I felt and uh, for many many years in my teens I had this eating disorder until there was a day where I met this model and she said have you heard about plus size modeling I was like no what's plus size modeling and she said oh in America they have plus size models and so I saw these images of Tara Lynn and Makita and Robin Lawley and I was like, whoa, there's like another way to do this. So I found out that there was a plus size division at an agency in London and I went and met with them and super excited and then they told me, you're not big enough to be a plus size model. And I was like, and it clicked, I was like, wow, so I'm not good enough again, I don't fit into your standard again. And I was like, I've got to stop trying to change myself to fit into your box and I've got to just recreate the box. I've got to get rid of the box. I was like, I have to change the industry instead of myself. And so I set out on this mission to be the only model at my size. I was like, I'll have a monopoly, it'll only be me. I pitched myself directly to brands and I was able to, after about two years, go back to the agency that rejected me and say, hey, I'll give you 20% of my clients if you'll just sign me and just send me to the castings that you're sending all the other types of girls to. Um, and it was true, like brands wanted not just the kind of ex extreme, they wanted just a plethora of different women because at the end of the day, modeling is about representing a brand and what does the customer look like? It looks like everybody. So I really positioned myself as kind of being that mid-size model and it paid off. I eventually got to work with Aerie and that was an amazing relationship. We did seven years where we built the Aerie Real Movement. I toured campuses, colleges, malls. I've seen more malls than anyone in this country. <laughs> and it was really, really special because we built something that was based on the mission of, of empowerment. Um, and for so long, having not felt that way, it was really special. And I've worked with the National Eating Disorder Association. I still work with them today um, and I am actually been trained by them in the body project so that's something I want to do more work with and with Saltaire my brand that now is also built on that mission of empowering people to take those moments of self-care every day and to yeah. use products that help them reconnect with their self and with their body there's nothing more magical than having that connection where you literally are touching your body you're worshiping it you're giving it some love you're giving it some TLC and our products do that so that's where we're at today and that's why we're here in this yes. moment because we just want to encourage you to take those moments to look after yourself. Well, I thank you for sharing that. Um, I read a stat that says that 91% of women at some point in their life um, go through something with their body, right? Their mm -hmm. body image is at their lowest. So I think I always hear this over and over again in my community and I think both of us have gotten on the other side of right of really accepting and loving our body, experiencing food freedom. Mm -hmm. But for those of you know listening, if you haven't experienced that, what are some things from your past that have really helped you get to that point? Right. Obviously, food freedom is possible for everybody, first off, even if it feels impossible for you right now. Setting small, realistic goals is really important. And it kind of feels like, like little things unlock that, right? So for me, it started off with affirmations. Mm. Um, so like I said, originally when I looked at myself and my body in the mirror, I only had negative things to say. And that just like builds that cycle of tearing yourself down. So my best quote for anyone is, speak to yourself like your best friend. 
And also, you'll have best friends who are going to call you out for saying mean things to yourself. So call yourself out too. Like, don't let that be okay. Because when you get up in the morning and look in the mirror, if you choose a positive affirmation, that will literally reframe the way you define yourself. So that's really, really important. And it might not be easy. So you might need to start with my favorite one was I am enough. Oh, and it's, I still use that. It's so grounding. It's <laughs> yes. the need of affirmation too. And it just helps me in all areas of my life because being a Virgo, mm -hmm. being a perfectionist, I can struggle to feel enough in all sorts of different ways in relationships, obviously with my body, but even with work. So I am enough is like very reaffirming to me. So find your affirmations. That's a great place to start. And then surround yourself with people who are going to support you. Let them know that you're trying to go on a journey of self-care, self-love, self-growth and ask them to support you. Maybe you need accountability buddy, maybe you need your partner to step in and also give you words of affirmation, or also make sure you get that time. So when I was struggling during postpartum, Philip came to me and we literally sat down and he was like, what do you need? Mm. I was like, I need 15 minutes to get ready, to reset, to get in the shower with my salt hair, to just feel like I've cleansed and I'm clean and I can just put myself together a bit because sometimes you're gonna break apart and feel like you're in pieces. And you have to figure out how to put those pieces back together. And sometimes only you, only you know how, but someone else just being there, like encouraging you and letting you know you're not alone in that is what, what you need. I couldn't agree more. I think that self-talk part of it is such a missing piece for so yeah. many people. And they're, they're not in tune with the words that you're saying to yourself yes. and that belief system. And when it's over and over and repeated, mm -hmm. you start to believe it. And so breaking that down. And I love how you said like, talk back to the voice. I talk back to that voice <laughs> all the time. And not still, crazy for doing yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> and still today. And I think sometimes yeah. people think, you know, I'm, I wake up every day and I feel fantastic about myself and it's not, not realistic, realistic. Yeah. Every day something comes up, but I think the difference is you get to that point where you know how to change the inner dialogue and yes. you know how to snap back from it so much faster. Whereas in the past it would have like, been stuck how you in feel that about chain. yourself yeah, yeah. and all of that so 